Isaiah Hunts here, back with another video. I'm going to be doing an unboxing today of this. It is the Deluxe Breath of the Wild Link from Good Smile Company, the Nenderoid figures. Nenderoid figures. I got mine at Target. Pretty good box um, condition. There is a um, dent at the bottom, but we'll look at that in a second. And then here's the side, different pose. You can see that. A little bit of denting, not bad though. Let's open it. I've never gotten one of these before. I'm excited. The smell's escaping. Ah. Okay. You get a little, uh, Thing for directions. <clears throat> There's a couple different layers. Wow, that's cool. Here's the insert. Top one is just black. Looks freaking sick. Looks just like the game. You got like the little, uh, Highland mushrooms and stuff. Pretty dope. There's a bottom part right here that's taped. Holy crap, that's cool. Okay, so here's these parts. <clears throat> uh, looks like other arms and feet and hands. It's like double. So. It has a, uh, you mean it has like a cover? I don't want them to just like fly everywhere. Lightly, gonna take out the little plastic guys. Uh, different arms, three different hands, and I believe these are two different legs. So cool. Good smile company. Do you guys or um do you guys know like are those the joints, the little smiley faces? Let's open the main event. Make sure everything's in there. I didn't lose anything. Oh, I was trying to open it. I almost lost the sheath to the sword just now. Okay. Top one's off. It's just like a... A platter of awesomeness. It's just a plastic piece. Man. Let's do the figure. So there's a lot of plastic. Uh, this last one was on top of him. A lot of plastic, which I uh, really, really appreciate. You have this one. It's like, wow. It's literally like attached to the ponytail. Okay. Trying to take it off ever so gently. That one's like in his waist. And this one is up around his legs. And he has a little... Whoa, it's like... Okay. I should have been showing you guys this stuff, but... 
it's like in there you know what I'm saying like the plastic was like under his shirt was like in the seam his hip seam it was in there like the plastic and then like around his little ponytail and stuff this looks pretty freaking cool gotta admit oh I'm so happy I got it <laughs> sorry I'm hogging it but here he is this is the breath of the wild link looks incredible this is just connected with a peg right there <laughs> I want to do um I honestly don't know a lot about these figures and I want to do more research because I know they're uh, really uh, they are very uh, displayable and I want to um, I don't want to wreck anything you know what I mean I uh, like I'm not trying to break it or anything. I don't. I don't know what parts come on and off. If you know um, good reviewers of these figures, let me know in the comments, because I will definitely check it out. A little bit of leg movement. I'm ex. I'm excited to uh, display him. And there's another head. with the hood oh, man and here's a little the little plastic visor again it's like in there I really appreciate that that one looks sick see I know you can change the faces because they have oh snap okay Whoa. Okay. And then that's how you just change the face. Whoa, that's cool. Okay. Did you guys see that? So the face is in there. And then it all just kind of press fits together. See how there's the seam? And then you just separate it. I'm guessing it. I mean, I, don't know, I can only assume. And then there's that piece, the back, and then the face just comes out. And then you have this part with no face. Take the head off. Here's this head. We separate this. Yep. Look at that. Separates. And you can change the face out. On this one, you put the face on the back, and then the hair just slips on. Oh, snap! This thing is sick. Let me keep this face on it for right now. That's so cool. Just swap the faces. So there's that. Let's go with the horse. And I'm pretty sure the only thing that makes this the deluxe edition is the horse. The hood also. Uh, not 100% sure. Damn, they really get these in there. Like how? Does this head come off? Horse's head comes off. That's so cool. And it's literally like everywhere. So you have to take the things off. It's like it's guarding all the you know what I mean? So they're not rubbing up against each other. So like you could literally just take these off and then it just comes off. I mean, there's a hole just with the peg. And then tail. Yeah. And then the horse has articulation. That's 
so cool. Oh, that's really freaking cool. And this is like a, it's like a nice cloth. It looks really good. <laughs> His hair has articulation. It's pretty funny. So that you can raise its head and stuff. It's pretty cool. It's a good, uh, it's a nice detail. Back legs. The tail. Moves around, you can flip it. Okay, I'm gonna do a close up of the accessories it comes with. Oh, that's cool. Okay, so of course it comes with the Breath of the Wild um, Sheikah Slate. It looks good. Look at that. Man. You know how tiny it is? Like, no bigger than the size of my thumbnail. Just a uh, little sword. Pretty cool. There is a shield. Looks like seahorses on it, and it has a little uh, moving handle. You have a bow. It's like the, I forget the name of it, but it's like just the ordinary, uh, more higher class one. And then you have the, um, the guardian arrowhead. That looks sweet. The paint on it looks amazing. Like, look at that. It literally looks like it's wrapped around. That looks so cool. The sheath, the detail on it is really good. It's like a, it literally looks like a different material tip. Sword does not go in the sheath. There's just a tiny little hole. Oh, fancy. Okay. So, look at this. It doesn't fit in there, but take the blade off, and now you have a sword in its sheath. Interesting. It's pretty crazy. I need to definitely look into these more. It seems like you can take everything apart. Like literally the handle comes off of like, what? This literally comes into three parts. Pretty crazy. We have two more weapons. A uh, battle axe. That looks really good actually. Like I love the paint of the actual metal. Well, not actual metal, but like of the metal part. Okay, some of these pieces are super hard to get out. There's a little chicken, chicken thigh. It's pretty funny. And then you get the... What is it, like the Borok Club or whatever? It's literally like the basic weapon that you can... It's like the basic version of anything. It's pretty cool. It looks just like the game. It's freaking unbelievable. Like, that's so cool. And then it comes with a um, dynamic stand as well. This is the pose I decided to put it in. Looks really cool.
Then you have the sword and shield on him. The little uh, center of the shield comes out and you can you poke it all the way through. Even from the back, that looks cool. Very, very happy with this purchase. What do you guys think of it? Let me know in the comments. Man, that looks sick. Thank you guys for watching my review on this. I think it looks super sick. Unboxing slash review. Super sick. Super dope. Don't know where exactly I'm gonna put it. Maybe next to my Switch. This thing's freaking awesome. Gotta admit. Oh man. So cool. Thank you guys for watching. I truly do appreciate it. You guys are amazing. I don't know, this freaking, ever since I saw it, I'm pretty sure I saw it for the first time in a video, but I saw it out in the wild at Box Lunch and I fell in love with it. And yeah, I'm freaking so happy that I have it. Eventually gonna throw the Highland hood on it, but man. Thank you guys for watching again. You guys are amazing. Um, like this video. Comment down below where you're from. I want to know where all you guys are from. And subscribe if you're not already. Uh, it would really mean a lot to me. You guys are incredible. Isaiah Hunts on the Prowl. Peace, fam.